Hey, what's up guys? Recently, we have been hearing a lot about the iPhone. The iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus. It's leaks and rumors like the force touch display, no physical home button and many, many more. So in this video, we will be summing up everything we know so far about the rumored iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Let's get started. Let's start with design and build. Knowing Apple, they will probably tend to keep most things same in the S model in terms of design and build. We can expect a few tweaks here and there, but Apple will save majority of its design changes for their next release, that is the iPhone 7. So it's safe to assume that both the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus will look similar to the current iPhone. They will use the same aluminum body with that protruding camera and the plastic band at the back. However, if they are using the same material and design, this leads to a very important issue with the iPhone 6 Plus. Yes, we are talking about the pen gate. Unless you are living under the rock, you must have seen Unbox Therapy's iPhone 6 Plus pen gate video. That escalated really, really fast. I will leave a link below the video description, but then again, I assume you have already seen the video. According to Taiwan's Economic Daily News, the iPhone 6S could be made with 7000 series aluminum, which is the same metal that's already been used in the Apple Watch, the sport model. Series 7000 aluminum is 60% stronger than standard aluminum but keeps its lightweight form factor, making it a great candidate for the iPhone 6S. Ming Chi Kuo of KGI Securities, who is one of the few analysts with a respectable record on Apple forecasts, has also stated that the bending issue will be improved by using different casing materials and internal mechanical design changes. So it's safe to say that Apple will do its best to remove that pen gate tag that it brought along the iPhone lineup. Next, let's talk about the display. Apple has always been lagging behind its competitors in regards to their display resolution. Be it 720 by 1334 on the iPhone 6 and 1080 by 1920 on the iPhone 6 Plus. Though Apple was the first smartphone maker to bring crispier display on a smartphone with its iPhone 4, the Android phones have gone to extreme limits with their displays ever since. However, with the 6S and 6S Plus, they seem keen to bump the resolution count. Rumors suggest that the 6S will be coming out with 1080p resolution, and the 6S Plus will be housing a beautiful 2K display. This rumor came from the Chinese blog Feng.com that said it got these leaks from sources familiar with Apple's supply chain. Apple has never seemed to care about keeping up with the spec wars that often drive Android phones development and with past record they might not pack more pixels unless they have a very strong reason to otherwise. Back in March during its Spring Forward event, Apple unveiled a new MacBook. And with it came the brand new Force trackpad, which uses the same Force Touch technology as the Apple Watch. And rumor has it that technology might come to the iPhone 6S. The Force Touch on the iPhone 6S would mean that the smartphone could differentiate between taps and presses and would enable a whole new level of interaction. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo expects that it will be different to the technology used in the Apple Watch and the new MacBook. Instead of actually detecting how much pressure you apply with your fingers, the iPhone's force touch display will determine how much pressure you're applying by measuring the contact area of your finger. Kua expects force touch display will be the standout feature of the new iPhone. However, according to Economic Daily News, Taiwanese manufacturer TPK, the supplier of the force touch sensors, will supply the sensors to iPhone 6S Plus only. This could mean that the iPhone 6S may not have the Force Touch technology. This makes perfect sense as the iPhone 6 already lacks the optical limb stabilization. Plus, it's so certainly possible that the newer model will have a more advanced features than the 4.7 iPhone 6S. There's also some debate about whether the iPhone 6S will be more durable through the use of new materials including sapphire glass and liquid metal. Considering the sapphire glass is too expensive and does not perform well when dropped, Apple will have to consider other options. Croning, the company behind the durable Gorilla Glass that is used in Apple's current iPhone has revealed a new type of glass codenamed Project Fire that could be used instead of sapphire. 
because it's apparently just as durable. Corroning glass president James Clapin stated that this glass offers the same superior damage resistance and drop performance of Gorilla Glass 4, with scratch resistance that equals sapphire. Liquid metal is also another viable option as Apple has an exclusive license to the material, but they have only been using it for the SIM ejector tool, despite its desirable qualities such as durability. Next, the obvious specifications. As I've stated earlier, Apple has never cared about the spec war. But there are various rumors floating around regarding the specifications of the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus. The most obvious is a new processor. Both the phones will definitely come with an improved A9 chip, which is rumored to be under mass production by TSMC or Samsung according to China Times. It will be joined by the M9 co-processor, which handles efficiency by taking all of its jobs carried out by the sensors away from the main processor. Many sources have also hinted that this year, iPhone release will get a RAM upgrade to 2GB. Analyst Kyo has specifically stated that the new iPhone will be using LPDDR4 2GB RAM. This could mean better gaming performance. Next, the camera, battery and storage. iPhone 6's camera made quite a buzz in smartphone world with its unmatched picture quality. 6 Plus was even better with OIS capabilities. However, the recently released Galaxy S6 and LG G4 have already started to overshadow the crown once owned by iPhone 6. John Gruber of Daring Fireball on one of his podcasts stated that Apple is currently planning on making the biggest camera jump ever in an iPhone with the next generation device that should launch in 2015. He also suggests that Apple could implement a dual lens system for the camera on the back that could allow users to capture DSLR quality imagery. Analyst Kiwo and IHS China Chief Executive Kevin Wong also agree with his prediction that the new iPhone will be featuring a 2 megapixel sensor, which is perhaps one of the biggest jumps since iPhone 4S. Other camera rumors that emerged following the discovery of a new Apple patent in March suggest that the company may use a light-splitting 3-sensor camera system, which would improve the quality of both photos and videos drastically on future iPhones. There are some interesting rumors regarding the front-facing camera too. The OIS 9 code suggests that the front camera will be able to record 1080p video at 60fps, record 240fps slow motion and support a flash. While the MP count is still shadowed, we might be seeing improved front cameras, perfect for high quality selfies and apparently video recording. Regarding the storage, Feng.com claims that the entry-level iPhone 6S will be shipped with 32GB onboard storage. Ditching the 16GB variant, it makes sense as 16GB tends to fill up rather easily. As for the batteries concerned, Apple might not change the size of the battery, but it might switch to USB Type-C connector, which can provide faster charging and better data transmission. There's also a possibility of inductive charging, similar to Apple Watch, with iOS 9's new low power mode that could boost the existing iPhone's battery life by up to 3 hours. Perhaps Apple can squeeze out even more efficiency in a 6S with some hardware tweaks. On other small changes, as stated by Analyst Q, Apple will improve its fingerprint sensor to promote Apple Pay and will add an additional microphone near speaker to improve voice quality. According to DigiTimes, Apple is working on virtual home button that allows you to display home button instead of physical home button. If not the S model, they might use this in future releases. And now, release date and color options iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus will both come with iOS 9 out of the box, which was launched back in WWDC 2015. Vodafone has also revealed the iPhone 6S or the new iPhone will go on sale on 25th of September with pre-orders starting from 18th of September. This information, however, was sent in an email to a staff but seen by mobile news. More interestingly, the S model might be available in a rose gold color option in addition to silver, gold and space grey to match the rose gold Apple Watch edition. While it's completely safe to say that Apple will release 
two variants of the smartphone this year, different sources are claiming that Apple will launch three models in addition to 6S and 6S Plus. The iPhone 6C will also be released. The iPhone 6C will have a 4-inch display and a polycarbonate plastic case, similar to that of the iPhone 5C, which will be a budget phone indeed. Feature suppliers even displayed the casing of 6C. While it's highly unlikely that iPhone 6C will be released as mentioned in the core prediction, we will have to wait and watch until Apple officially announces its releases in the Apple event. So that's all for the video guys. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments down below stating what you would expect from iPhone 6S and 6S Plus from Apple. Stay tuned for more. I will be coming up with videos like this. So do subscribe to the channel. And you guys have a great time.